Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been um, two weeks since I last uploaded. Um, I caught a virus. There's like this stomach bug virus, whatever, going on. My entire family caught it. First, it was my daughter, brought it from school, of course. Um, she was in the hospital, and then I caught it, and I was in the hospital uh, almost two days. I was in like extreme pain, but. And then my husband caught it, so it took us about two weeks to recover. I'm still recovering, but I'm all fine right now. Um, I'm just taking it easy on everything. So anyway, um, that's the update. Sorry for missing, but while I was sick and in bed, I wrote down all the, um, I wrote down all the messages, all the topics that I, all the material that I want to bring to you guys. So and I have a lot. I just have to film. And take it one day at a time so here we are ready to roll you might you might already notice that the title of this video is going to be a little bit general like everybody talks about it but I just wanted to bring some points and in details you know maybe to some of us maybe some maybe you maybe uh, you have no body image issues uh, and that's fine good good for you um, but for most of us who do have um, and I am here to share and hopefully you can relate and it will help you and you can learn something along as well these are just some tips that can help you detect what's actually causing you to have a bad image a bad body image that can affect your goals and dreams because if you have a bad body image or a bad image of your body um, it can actually affect everything that you do in your life and I'm going to share why and how when we have a poor body image it affects our dreams our goals places that we want to visit things that we want to do uh, people that we want to be around with and the worst part is that when someone says something in regards to our body image we tend to crawl in tend to uh, just cave in take it all in and start to believe and believe what they say is true so I don't know what um, usually a body image poor body image starts at an early age I'm not sure I don't know what how old you are but it doesn't really matter because a poor body image you could be 50 and you could have a poorer body image um, so this applies to everyone so listen up how do we get past this stage in our life because sooner or later we all need to pass this stage in our life if we want to move on with our life and it's not necessarily passing the stage it's dealing with it facing it and getting to the root of it so the first stage would be identifying what causes you to have bought poor body image so I've done my research and this is what I've concluded and wrote down for you guys for everyone that includes me too because I still struggle with poor body image not that I think not that I think bad of my body it's just I'm working toward a body that I want to look but in the sense well I used to now I'm just working toward getting healthy you know because I I, I have to number one that will affect you that will cause you to have poor body image uh, is spending too much time on social media I know you know it we all know it but hear me out we spend so much time on social media and it's usually uh, looking at people how they look these athletes these fitness uh, people uh, bodybuilders uh, women who have like uh, unbelievable gray bodies um, and they show everything which in my opinion is really no need to show every part but oh well most of these images that you see on social media are filtered photoshopped um, they're just altered you know because they want it to be um, social media fit or fit for social media and it may not even be uh, realistic at all and I'm not saying now go get rid of your social media because I know for many it's impossible that might be your business your job whatever 
but I'm suggesting you follow someone who motivates you in the area that you need motivation, whether that's mentally, physically, or spiritually. Follow me, here it is. I do all three. So. And since we're talking about the body, um, I suggest you follow uh, accounts that uh, they show their uh, journey, how they got, how they were. I mean, they show the journey from where they were to where they are how, or where they want to go. How did they get there? They show personal story, real life stories, not something that's altered or photoshopped. In all honesty, you have to love your body as it is, first of all. And then work for what you want it to look like or be. Never, never compare your body to what's out there on social media I've done it many times I don't care I can care less anymore number two that could cause you to have poor body image is that the past has your hands tied up what do I mean by this sometimes we're so tied up to our past that it's so hard to get out of it but with God's help is everything is possible but you have to want it too because we all know God is capable, He can do it, but um, He ain't gonna push someone who doesn't want change, okay? He's not gonna push nothing on you if you don't want change, if you don't wanna get better. Maybe someone in the past called you fat, ugly, made fun of your nose, made fun of your hair, made fun of your curves, made fun of your eyes, your teeth. It doesn't really matter because, like I said, it's in the past, so, Get over it, come out of it. Make peace with it, forget, forgive whoever uh, said those stuff to you, those things to you, and just let it go. If an ex made you feel less, or if he, if he left you because you're fat, it's time to let it go and free yourself, your inside of you from that person, from that prison. Look at yourself in the mirror every single day and say, you are beautiful, you are strong. I love your legs. I love my legs. I love my hands. I love my nose. I love my face. I love my chubby, chubby cheek. I love my um, everything. I love my eyes. I love my fat belly. I love my big butt, my no butt. Do this every single day and you will start to see yourself different. And if you can't do this, ask for God's help and He will help you. Ask Jesus to help you see yourself the way Jesus sees you, the way you, uh, the way God sees you in His eyes, okay? Which is your love, you're valuable, you're important, but um, you need to um, make that step yourself first and leave the revenge in God's hands. Don't lose weight for someone else. Don't get your body just to re revenge on someone else. That doesn't work. Don't even go there. And if someone has left bruises, or scars in your body with their mouth or even physically, ask God to heal those wounds. Ask God to give you a new perspective of your body. Ask God to give you eyes to see yourself the way you're supposed to see yourself. And what everyone else says doesn't matter. Number three, what causes you to have um, poor body image is setting unrealistic goals. Most of the time we're not happy with our body because we're trying to look like someone else. We're trying to make our body look like someone else's body. We want to work out like Arnold Schwarzenegger or we want to walk the runway like Victoria's Secret Angels, which is nothing wrong but Sometimes those goals might be just a little unrealistic, you know, for the majority of us. Because the, because the reality is we all have different types of bodies. I'm 5'2", and I have an apple-shaped body, so I need to eat or work out according to what my body can take or what my body needs. I can't work out like my husband all the time because our bodies are different. Sometimes you, you, you and I, sometimes we can follow someone on, on their uh, account, on their social media account, and we wanna do exactly what they do, with, which is nothing wrong, but is it gonna work for you? Is it gonna work for your body? And sometimes you keep failing and failing, so maybe you should just do, um, maybe we should do what works for us and not what we see others 
uh, throwing out there in your in our faces set goals that will work for you goals that work will goals that will target your body parts wherever you need help number four that can cause us to have a poor body image is surrounding ourselves with people that will not support us or people that are negative um, everyone knows their circle everyone knows who's around us and um, you know who your circle is you know who the people around you are you know who makes you feel the way they make you feel you know who makes you feel positive and who makes you feel negative we all know that everyone can tell that so you need to detect those and people find out who um who who triggers you into having a bad attitude or um um talking bad about your body or who, who talks bad about your body you need to find out and remove yourself from that circle that's my that's my take i don't want to be around someone who's gonna always point out and say you're fat I'm like your belly, look at you, look at your nose, look at that, look at that. I don't want to be around that person. Why would I? Tell me why. Why would I want to, why would I want to put myself uh, around those people? If I'm trying to change and do something uh, with my life, with my body, why would I want to uh, be among uh, 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 rotten apples? I don't get it. Stay away from those people. Stick to people who celebrate you, celebrate your body just the way it is. And if you're too fat, a good friend will say it in love and it's fine. You can take that, I can take it too. But if it, if it's, uh, if it gets to a point where it's um, constant and it becomes negative and you start to feel negative about yourself and you start to feel bad, um, then those people aren't really your friends and you can just pray for them and let them go i'm not saying now that even if you're fat or you're too skinny or whatever um you can't make it out there in life because you can even if you don't want to change if you have a good body image um you will make it in your in life you will make it and you'll go into any career you want you will do whatever you want open a business be successful but if you have a very poor body image, it can affect you. And I just mentioned you some of the things that can cause you to have a poor body image, uh, especially in nowadays. And one main thing, one main, one of the biggest one is, I believe, social media. I've done it many times. I've looked at, and I still follow a lot of uh, accounts, uh, healthy. Um, Accounts that talk about accounts that are realistic to talk about a uh, health journey and how what to eat this and that um, I don't take it too serious. I don't take it too crazy like oh, I want to have that same butt. I want to have that same um, Those same abs this and that no, I will I, I will I will look at that be motivated inspired but I'm not going to let it affect me to the extent where I'm going to go and look at myself in the mirror and say Oh my god, you don't look like that you don't look like her, you know. Your butt doesn't look the same. Your belly doesn't look the same. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna torture myself in that level. I'm not going to uh, condemn myself in that level. You know, I can go right now. I have a very flabby belly. I don't care. I'm not gonna show you, obviously. But I can go in the mirror and just say, you know, I, I love my belly the way it is. My butt, my legs, my my body. I'm working toward what I want it to be. Um, but at the same time. I'm not gonna curse my body. I am. I love my body. I'm not gonna let it uh, affect me. If I wanted to be among, um, let's say, if I find myself among somebody who's very, very confident and uh, where they portray themselves confident, they look so fit, but inside of them they may not even be that confident. You know, because um, sometimes. Sometimes people are just not satisfied even if they look fit, you know, so it all comes down to um, Accepting who you are the way you are loving yourself the way you are your body and um, Seeing yourself the way God sees you, you know, you have to come to that level, you know, because I I used to have trouble in um, 
I used to have very very poor body image of myself and with God's help I have overcome that um, and there's days where I still struggle you know but it's like um, and, and, and the social media is what actually just re reminds us and makes us makes us feel like oh we're not enough we look ugly this and that um, but I, like I said in the beginning don't pay attention too much to social media unless it's something that will motivate you and inspire you and then you take that but you need to learn to uh, wear those filtered glasses and just filter things in your life you know yeah I want this but I don't want this I don't want to let this and negative. get it as soon as it uh, uh, the, as soon as something from social media will affect or it feels like it's affecting you negative your mood your attitude um, your perspective of your body of yourself you need to just trash it you need to just throw it away right away don't let it root don't let it take any root don't let it take any uh, seat in your life you need to just say hey you got no room here in my life I love the way I am I love me and I know who I am I know uh, who God thinks I am so I don't need social media to define me or my body so don't let social media define your your um your body image i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did uh, give it a like share with your friends and family on uh, social media <laughs> because sharing is caring and also subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button this way you're notified every time i upload a new video i will be bringing different topics um as I go, I'm going to try and post more often, so no promises because I got a no promise, okay? Anyway, be blessed. Bye. You're a star.